Hey guys, welcome back to Mind Time. Wanted to talk to you about the GeForce RTX series cards, um, the the 3000 series in particular. Um, these came out not too long ago. The availability has been extremely thin. Um, looking at the specs here that I've pulled up on Nvidia's website, the main two I want to talk about is the 3080 and the 3090. Um, so the 3090 has more than double the memory of the 3080 and triple the memory of the 3070, but the price is also double the 3080. So the 3080 is gonna come in somewhere um, in the $700 range, although a lot of vendors right now because of the limited availability are bumping that up to about a grand. Um, but much more comparable to like what the Radeon 7 was, which is what I'm going to consider the major card before this. Uh, the 3090 is priced at $1,500 if you can get it directly from a retailer. However, the availability of these is so thin that you're probably going to pay two grand through a scalper at this point in time. Now, in terms of gaming and memory size, this might be a really valuable upgrade. Although, there's not that many people who really need a 3090. Um, but anyways, in terms of mining, is a 3090 worth double the price tag of a 3080? So let's go over to what to mine and take a look. So based on a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity cost at current rates, an RTX 3090 is going to provide $3.77 profit per 24 hours. The RTX 3080 is $3.49. Now, if I'm going to pay double a card, or double the price for a card, and expect the same return on that, then I would need double the profit. And according to this, that just isn't the case. So, in terms of finding the right high end card for crypto mining, I'd be much more inclined to lean towards the RTX 3080 than the 3090. For those reasons the 3090 will crank out a little bit more however as far as payback and return uh the 38 will be much quicker in those regards the 38 the 3080 is also priced more along the lines of the radian radion 7 which is the previous card that i worked with in my experience these nvidia cards run way cooler than the radion 7 ever did um I've done some time with the Radeon 7, and it's a hot car that sounds like a jet engine because those fans are cruising trying to cool it off. Uh, I have a RTX 3090, and I haven't been able to bring it above 70 degrees. Um, anyway, so let's go over to Nice Hatch. Unfortunately, I don't have a 3080 to compare to right now, but I do have a beautiful 3090 RTX Founders Edition. Just because I'm a snob. Uh, I like to play video games too. But anyways, so I wanted to talk about without any sort of modifications, what that GPU is producing out of the box and what you can expect if you were to get one. So the uh, 3090 RTX right now is running at 107 mega hashes per second. On what to mine, I believe it was stated that it, yep, at 100 mega hashes per second. At times, this comes down to 95. So, in the end, the average is right around 100 mega hashes per second. I think between the 3090, 3080, and even if we want to bring the Radeon 7 into this, the 3080 and the Radeon 7 are similar price. The 3080 will do more. The It'll run cooler as well. The Radeon 7 is about as hot as a volcano. Um, I'm expecting that with the 3000 series of the NVIDIAs that the uh, Radeon 7 might become slightly more available because that one hasn't been uh, too available for quite some time. The 3090 will probably just take a long time to make your money back on uh, the 3080 is a much better pick in regards to mining um, anyways this has been mine time thanks for hanging out um, if you have any questions post it down below 
Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show a clip of my 3090 RTX just because I think it looks amazing. Thanks guys.